Welcome to Grammar Trails. In this segment, we're going to look at the seven coordinating conjunctions and the fourth comma rule. Coordinating conjunctions connect ideas of equal emphasis. So as a writer, when you use a coordinating conjunction, you are telling your reader that both ideas are equally important. There are seven coordinating conjunctions, and you must memorize all seven of them. The easiest way to do this is to consider the acronym FANBOYS for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Now let's take a look at rule number four. It states, if you have a coordinating conjunction, a fragment before it, and a fragment after it, then you do not need to use a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Let's take a look at our first example. The insects and the bird were battling for the blue world. Notice in the example I have included the comma. We now need to determine whether we need it. Let's look at the first part of the sentence. The insects. Who is doing this? The insects. And what are they doing? We don't know. So this is a fragment before the coordinating conjunction. Now let's look at the second part of the sentence. The bird were battling for the blue world. Who is doing this? The bird. And what is the bird doing? Battling. Here we can answer both questions. So it would seem at first that we have a sentence. But notice the subject and the verb do not agree. The bird were battling. We can't say bird were. We do not have subject verb agreement here and therefore this is a fragment. So here we have a fragment, a coordinating conjunction, and a fragment. Do we need the comma according to rule number four? No, we don't. Let's get rid of it. The insects and the bird were battling for the blue world. Here's another example. The mighty flocks from far and wide swoop toward the unwelcome insects. Can you identify the coordinating conjunction? And. Very good. Let's look at the first part of the sentence. The mighty flocks from far. Who is doing this? Flocks. Very good. The mighty flocks. And what are the mighty flocks doing? We don't know. So we have a fragment before the coordinating conjunction. Now let's look after. Wide swoop toward the unwelcome insects. Who is doing this? We don't know. There's no subject in the second part of the sentence. So here we have a fragment, a coordinating conjunction, and a fragment. Do we need the comma? Good, we do not. Let's get rid of it. So rule number four once again states, if you have a coordinating conjunction with a fragment before and a fragment after, we do not need to place a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Let's look at two more examples. The white west wind and the yellow east wind were called forth to animate the corn. Who is doing this? The wind. The white west wind. And what is the wind doing? We don't know. So this is a fragment. Now let's look after and. The yellow east wind were called forth to animate the corn. Who is doing this? The wind. The yellow east wind is doing it. And what is the wind doing? being called. So here we can answer both questions, but look again at the verb in this sentence, were. Does the verb were agree with the subject wind? It does not. We do not have subject verb agreement here in this sentence and therefore it's a fragment. The white west wind and the yellow east wind were called forth to animate the corn. So here we have a fragment, a coordinating conjunction, and a fragment. Do we need a comma? No, we don't. And the last example. Those first people who were strongest and fastest grabbed up all the food. Who's doing this? People. And what are the people doing? We don't know. There is no verb in this first part of the sentence. How about the second part? Fastest grabbed up all the food. Who is doing that? We don't know. There's no subject in the second part of the sentence. So here we have a fragment, a coordinating conjunction, and a fragment. 
Do we need the comma? No. Very good. So remember, rule number four states, if you have a coordinating conjunction, a fragment before, a fragment after, we do not need to use a comma. Finally, remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. You can do this by thinking of the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And thank you for watching this segment of Grammar Trails.